Hey guys, we're Starboard here. So today, I've got this old laptop here, and instead of just throwing it away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a very fast Linux server. Then I'll compare it to the fastest possible Raspberry Pi at the end, and I'll see how much faster it is. Let's get started. So this is a laptop that I'm going to be installing a Linux server OS on. It's quite an old laptop and it, and it doesn't currently work, mainly because if you turn it over, if you look at the back of the laptop here, there is no hard drive here, which had the original operating system on for this computer. So it can't currently boot. And it costs a lot of money to buy another copy of Windows just for this laptop. It'd also be far too slow to use as a regular desktop, which is why I'm going to be installing Linux on it and use it as a server, which should be hopefully quite power efficient and also quite fast. But let's get started. So for the new boot drive for this laptop, I'm going to be using this 2TB hard drive here. Because it runs at 7200 RPM, so it should hopefully be a bit faster than the original one this laptop had. Obviously it's not really faster than the SSD as the boot drive, but it should be pretty decent. Because it's just going to be used as a basic server anyway. And I also have this USB flash drive here. I'm going to be using this USB flash drive to install the Linux distro onto the hard drive, so I can use it as a server. So now let's install the operating system. So for the operating system, I decided to use Ubuntu Desktop. And the reason why I chose a desktop operating system was so that I could also use a laptop as a regular laptop, as well as just a server. It was quite helpful for accessing Linux file systems on USBs and other things. Well, that actually turned out to not be a good idea to use Ubuntu, because apparently, nowadays, Ubuntu Desktop is actually very slow, especially when loading applications that are installed using the regular package manager. So it probably would have been better if I installed Debian or another operating system. But it'll work well enough as a server when made, so it's fine. So I then flashed the ISO for Ubuntu onto USB flash drive using Bellina Extra software. So now we can just plug this USB boot drive into the laptop. And then plug the hard drive in. And also the power cable. So if we now turn the laptop on, it should hopefully boot to the USB drive. So now I booted the laptop to the installation USB drive and, and then installed the operating system onto the hard drive, which took quite a few hours to complete. Which is probably because it was installing off of a really slow and very unreliable USB drive, which I've had for a very long time. And it's on a slow computer anyway. But after it finished installing, the laptop booted up just fine onto the desktop. So I then plugged in an Ethernet port and did all the basic setup, such as updating all of the installed system packages, so they're all in the latest versions. So I then set up SSH in the laptop using the open SSH server, and then configured the right settings for it to work properly, so that I could then control the laptop from my desktop computer, and I could also paste commands onto it easily, which is helpful for quickly setting up lots of software. And helps with the recording because I don't have to point the camera at the laptop screen and I can just record the screen using SSH. So now that that is set up, I'm now going to compare this new laptop running Linux against a Raspberry Pi 4B, which is the fastest Raspberry Pi you can currently get. And I'm going to be using a Python benchmark which calculates Pi a certain amount of times and sees how long it takes for a device to calculate it. So this test will mainly show the single thread performance of the devices due to the way it's made. The Python script is a forked version of a Python script that I found on GitHub, which is used for benchmarking base which is used for basic benchmarking of devices. So I'm hoping that this should be a lot faster than the Raspberry Pi. So otherwise the increased power usage is gonna be is just gonna make it a very inefficient device compared to the Raspberry Pi. Although of course it's gonna be less power efficient than the Raspberry Pi but it should hopefully still not use too much power while having lots of performance. So when I run the benchmark program on the laptop, the way that the program works is it tests it 10 times, and then it'll find the average of those 10, so it has a more accurate result. And the lower the speed is the faster the device, so you want the lower time. So the first time took 66 seconds, for some reason the rest of them only took 60 seconds. So I don't know why the first one took 66 in total, but it might be because of caching or something. But I don't really know why. But with the increased time of the first one, the average time is 62 seconds. But if you don't include the start one, which had a weird time, the average would be 60.3 seconds. 
So the 61.2 seconds result was without using the desktop environment on Ubuntu. And when I'm using desktop environment, it increases the time to 69.7 seconds, which is actually quite a big difference in performance, which is important to keep in mind for the server. Also, because this isn't a very fair test using Ubuntu on a laptop, especially Ubuntu desktop, which is quite a heavyweight operating system, versus a Raspberry Pi using Raspberry Pi OS, which is a very lightweight operating system, which isn't a very fair test because the operating system is making a big difference in the performance. So later after I benchmark the Raspberry Pi, I will also benchmark the laptop for running Alpine Linux on the SSD, which is one of the fastest setups you can get, so make sure to watch to the end to see that. So I then ran a test on the Raspberry Pi 4B with overclocking enabled, and the result was 99 seconds on average, which is about 50% longer than it took to calculate on the laptop, which is quite a substantial difference, especially for the server. And with the overclocking turned off, the time was 108 seconds on average which is a bit slower than with overclocking enabled. So while these results show that the laptop is 50% faster than the Raspberry Pi, it also shows that it's a lot less power efficient, because it'll probably use a lot more power than the Raspberry Pi does, at least over 50% more. But it's still quite power efficient because it is a laptop, and laptops are generally quite power efficient. The Raspberry Pi wasn't on the maximum overclocking setting, but it was on a decently high overclocking setting that wouldn't make the Raspberry Pi unstable while running. Although I currently don't know how many watts the laptop uses while it's running, otherwise I could calculate exactly how much more efficient it is by using the times of each one. Now it's time to test Alpine Linux on the laptop using the SSD boot drive. So first of all I set up an internal SSD inside of the laptop, which should give sort of the fastest speeds possible in terms of the boot drive. But for some reason when I actually ran the benchmark on the laptop, it was actually a lot slower than when I used Ubuntu off of the external hard drive, even though I was now using Alpine Linux off of an internal SSD, which had been a lot faster. And it was over 3 seconds slower at 65 seconds on average, which is a lot slower than it was on Ubuntu without the desktop environment. But it doesn't make much sense because Alpine Linux is supposed to be a very lightweight operating system, so I'm not exactly too sure why it wasn't working. I don't know if it could be science to the fact it says like localhost, as if it's trying to like network proof of itself. But not exactly too sure what the problem could be. But that was the final value I got anyway for using Alpine Linux on the SSD. So now let's see the final results of the test. So now I put all the results onto a graph, which I think looks quite cool and fancy. And you can see that the laptop has a decent speed increase over the Raspberry Pi. But if you then consider the um, power usage and the price difference, you can tell the Raspberry Pi is actually much better in general. So you could probably get three Raspberry Pis for the same price as the laptop. Although that doesn't take into consideration the screen and the keyboard and the frame and some of the other parts of the laptop. It's obviously still going to be a lot more expensive because Raspberry Pi is a charity, obviously. So Raspberry Pis are sold for a very cheap price, while laptops need to be sold higher for profit. So these results mainly show that an old laptop is actually quite a bit better than the server. And if you have an old laptop, maybe instead of throwing it away, you should turn it into a server. They were as quite good servers and they are quite powerful efficient compared to faster desktop computers which could also be used as servers. It also creates a lot less e-waste if you reuse your old laptop instead of throwing it away. So if you want a decent power efficient server to run stuff on, if you have an old laptop I'd recommend taking it and turning it into a server and it'll probably work quite well. If you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe because it helps more people see the video and it's only two button clicks to like and subscribe. But thank you for watching and goodbye.